Okay guys, I'm going to do an update video for how to add schema to your Wix website because clearly there's a lot of people who can't follow instructions online and thanks to the people who did email me, they maybe watched the video, read the blog post, whatever, and they reached out and said, look mate, I don't understand this. They pinged me an email and I've sorted it for them like that. All right, so and they've got their, they've got Wix, uh, they've got schema on their Wix without an issue, all right. Fine over and writing worst tutorial ever, to be honest. You know, that doesn't help anybody. All right, and other people, you know, if maybe if people reply to their comments instead of just writing a comment, it would be easy to help people understand more and get it done. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another video tonight where I am and show you how to add Wix, uh, schema to your Wix website. One thing you need to understand is, to be honest, this probably won't make a single bit of difference to you ranking on Google. Okay, schema... It isn't that important. It's just used as a bit of code to help the likes of Google, Bing, and other web crawlers understand what is on the page and help correlate things together, like your social profiles, your address, all that kind of stuff, all right? The only things you need to know to rank on Google is you need to have extremely good on-page and you need to have extremely good off-page, and I cover them in other blog articles that I've written. But I'll still put this out there. Can this hurt to have it on your website? No, of course it can. It might help, but... You see a lot of people reading like Neil Patel and all that crap and they're saying, oh, you need to rank, these are the things you need to do in 2020, 2019 to rank in Google. It's a load of shy, you don't need to do it. But if you want to have it on, you know, follow this video and we'll go through it. All right, so first thing you need to do is you need to head to my website and you need to go to the quick tip on how to add schema to your Wix website. All right, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down halfway down the page to this here where it says update. You're going to click here, and what it's going to do, it's going to give you your schema for a local business. You don't need to even need to do anything. You don't need to figure out how to write it. You don't need to do anything. All you need to do is copy this code, all right? You're going to copy this code. You're going to open up a notepad, and you're going to put the code into the notepad, all right? I don't think you really need to do this, but you can put um, end script at the bottom as well. Okay, sorry, I'll just pull that up there. What you're going to do here is you're going to fill out this information, okay? You're going to remove the likes of biz name. So this, maybe I want to put like Ocean One SEO. Uh, my alternative biz name is Ocean One SEO, uh, SEO services, whatever. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill out my address, all the rest of this, and I cover how to fill this out in this video here, okay? This is going to show you how to fill this out and what information goes where in this. Once you've got that done, what you're going to do is you're just going to save this, or you can copy and paste it or whatever. You can go over to your Wix website, all right? Now, there's two ways you can do this. To be honest, they don't make a difference. You can do either or whatever you want to do, okay? You can go to your website editor. You can head up to settings. You can go to tracking and analytics. This is the way I prefer to do it. Once this loads up, you can hit a new tool, um, custom code. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna paste your code in here. All right, you just name it, schema, just like I've done before. We're gonna put it in the header and you wanna load it on all pages. Or, depending on the, the type of schema that you've got, you might only wanna load this schema on specific pages. You know, if you've got, um, you know, service pages, things like that, you know, or if you want to add it on different pages, you know, you can just keep adding and adding and adding and adding and adding until you put it on all the pages that you need to put it on. Could somebody asking about events? <clears throat> Simple, just go to add new tool, do schema and load schema, uh, schema once on the event. I think actually the issue there was because of the way that Wix works, the way it runs it, its events code and that it's actually quite happy because it's always dynamic. Um, quite happy, quite hard because it's always dynamic. But anyway, that's one way to do it. If you don't want to do it that way, the other way to do it is to head over to the menu and pages. <clears throat> hit a little burger menu here, open up settings or SEO Google, whatever you want. Hit advanced SEO and you can paste in your JSON LLD code in there, all right? Once that's done, you're gonna hit publish. You're going to walk over to, you're not going to walk over, and be, <laughs> you're going to open up the Google Structured Data Testing Tool. You get to that by Googling Google Structured Data Testing Tool, all right? And all you're going to do is you're going to do a new test. You're going to put in the URL of your website and you're going to hit Run Test. 
and then it's going to pull up your schema and it'll let you know if there are any issues okay and um, sometimes there might be issues if you have not copied all these in the right order things like that you know maybe if you're putting in additional profiles in here maybe you want to put in like seven or eight or nine profiles in here you should put you realize that in the same as same as section right here you notice it's the last one never gets a comma okay the last one never gets a comma all right so it's an issue that a lot of people have that they don't realize that just this last one doesn't get a comma okay and there's also issues with people using max and these change into uh, different kind of quotation marks and things like that you know i can't help you with that you know i do it in windows you know um and then yeah that's that's how you add this wix markup to your website it literally is as simple as that you're going to go to my website again okay we'll go through this you're going to go to my website again you're going to click on the here click in here to get the template you're going to take this template you're going to put it into a word doc or a, a, or a text pad or something like that and you're going to fill out the information if you need help filling out what goes in each one of these sections and how to fill them out watch this video here it'll show you and tell you everything you need to know and what goes into this information then you're going to log into your wix website you're going to go into your da dashboard area and you're going to go to edit your website okay once you're in the edit website area you're going to head over to settings you're going to open up tracking and analytics once you're in tracking and analytics you're going to create a new tool it's going to be a custom tool you're going to paste in your code that you've just written and sorted out here okay with your information in it not this information okay your own information in it that goes in here you can name it what you want and you can load it in all pages just make sure it's in the head okay then all you're going to do is you're going to hit publish once it's published you're going to open up the google structured data testing tool you get to this by googling google structured data testing tool open it up click new test and then paste in your URL of your homepage. You're going to run test. That run test is going to pull up information like this. If everything is okay, you're going to get no warnings and no errors. All right. And if that is the case, you are done. All right. Any questions, anything like that? I'd love to hear your feedback. All right. Cheers.